Hi, this is Amir again from simpletech.ca and this is my sixth video in the series and in this video I'm gonna basically talk about charts. So there will be two different types of charts. One is a pie chart and the other one will be a column chart and it's very easy to do it. It's just trying to get the basic steps done. So whenever you're doing charts, uh, there are some of the common charts are pie and the column and we'll do the pie chart first and I'll explain to you the steps and when and how to use a pie chart. So at any time you are trying to work on any kind of a chart, it's good to have your information down and once you have your information, you just select that information. And make sure that you don't select any empty cells, you just stick with the information that you have. So now you need to start the chart wizard. There are two ways of starting it. You can use that button right there which says chart wizard on the toolbar or you could go to insert chart and it opens up the wizard. There are four steps to it and this is the first step. In this case we're gonna go ahead and pick the pie chart and a lot of times people ask a question as to when do you use a pie chart and when do you use a column chart. My rule of thumb is when you have two columns or two rows. If you have more than two columns, a pie chart will not make sense and I'll show you in the next um, example when we do the column chart. And so if like information like this, simple, only two columns or two rows, a pie chart will make sense. So the first step is to pick a pie, pick the type of chart you want and we're just going to stick with this first chart right here, the pie. So we're going to click next. And the second step is asking you for the source of your pie chart. We have already have it selected so we don't have to do anything here and click next. Now in this option, the third step is the chart option. So up here I can give titles. So I can say sales by person or whatever name I want to give it. The next option here is called legend. The legend is what you see on the right hand side up here. What, what tells you which color is which person's name. So I can say either remove so there will be no legend or I can have a legend. I can put it on the bottom, left, right, wherever I feel like it. The third option there is for data labels. Now in the labels I can actually choose and say you know what put the category name so I can put a check mark here and you see it puts the names right next to the color and I can also say put a percentage so it gives me the information in terms of percentages as to what is going on. Now if I want I can just because I already have the labels there I can go back and I can remove the legend. So this part is done. Second, third step. Click next. The fourth step is asking you the location of the chart. By default it will put the chart right here on this sheet, the sheet 1. But you can choose that it create a new sheet and by default it says chart 1. You can just call it anything you want. So I'll just call it pie chart and click finish. So now you see on the bottom right there you see pie chart and there is sheet 1. Now I'll just show you a few things how you can go about making some changes here. I'm just going to close this window. Now if I wanted to go back to the chart options I just click here on the white part and I can right click on it and there is the chart options there which brings me back to this third step where I can change the title. I can even choose to get the legend back. I can have the data labels and if I wanted to add something or remove something I could do that. And I click OK. So I've got the legend right there. I can even change the colors of the chart. So if for example, if I wanted to change this yellow color, I click on it here. Now when I click on it one time, you see the dots here. There's one dot, two dot, three dot, and four dot. It means that the whole pie chart is selected. So I'm going to click on the yellow part one more time. And now you see the dots are only on the yellow part. So now I can right click on it go to format data point and I can choose a different color whatever I feel like. If I want it I could go to fill effects 
and choose two colors and I can mix up colors and there are other things up here too that you can look at you can even insert a picture by selecting it from any of your my pictures and things like that so I can choose two colors click OK and click OK I've got a different color so now again if I want I can click here right click on it format data point and I can choose a different color the same way you can change the color appear on the white part click there right click on it format chart area and I can choose a different color or I can go to fill effects and in the texture I can choose a different type of a texture this one or that one so I'm just showing you options it's not always the greatest thing to do that depending on the situation but there are options that you can have this done you can also always use this chart on the menu part instead of right clicking chart and you expand the window and you have the same option for chart options there's also the option there for chart type so I can click on it and I can choose a different type of a chart or a pie chart and click OK so I've just changed it which the same options are available when I do right click on it chart type I'm gonna come back to sheet 1 and if you look at it, it's Sue is 23 percent John 23 Mary 29 and David 25 so I'm just gonna go back to sheet 1 and I'm just gonna make some changes um, I'll put Sue at 5,000 and maybe David at 4,000 so now when I go back to my pie chart the information has changed you see Sue is at 36 percent David at 30 percent John at 15 and Mary at 19 percent because that information is linked anytime I make any changes there it automatically shows up up here I'm gonna go back to sheet 1 and I'm just gonna enter a name and also enter some amount here okay so I just entered the amount when I go to pie chart I don't see that person's name showing up here the reason why that is the case is because on sheet 1 I only had selected this much information so I need to somehow tell the pie chart that go get that information now there are a couple of ways of doing it the way I like to do is is you go back to your pie chart on the chart menu look for the word source data you click it and it brings you back to the source which is on sheet 1 and you see the information that is selected that is part of the pie chart so I just click again from the top and select all the lines and click OK now I've got the name Randy also part of my pie chart and everything else the percentages also change at the same time so this is pie chart now we'll just look at the column chart so on sheet 2 I've just typed out an example now you see in this case I've got uh, more than two columns so a pie chart will not be a good example for this so again just go ahead and select all your information and in this case I've got names and they have different sales for different months and I'm gonna start the chart wizard in this case I'm gonna stick with the column chart so this is fine now just to show you I'm just gonna click on the pie chart and I'm gonna press and hold this to view you see this is what the pie chart will look like and it will only show me January which doesn't make sense for this example I'm gonna go to column and I'm just gonna hold the sample and you see it's giving me all the months all the date all the person's names and it's giving me a better view the whole idea of charts is that when you look at it you can make sense out of it not something that's gonna be difficult so the step one is picking the chart click next now here in this case your source data is already selected however if you see the names are on the x-axis John David Mary and the bars are the months so if I click here in the rows it changes to January February March and the names become the bars so you can switch it the way you want to I'll just leave it like that click next now again I'm back to chart options the only difference is because I've got the option for X and the Y axis 
I have more options. So again, I'm just going to put a chart title, sales by month. Now the x axis is the month, so I'm going to I'm going to just type the word month, and the y axis is the dollar amount, so I can type the word dollar. So it shows up on the x axis and the y. I can go to the legend, which is again I can show the legend or not, and I can move it around. Data labels. In the column chart, data labels will not make sense because if I try to put anything, it will just make it look bad. So say if I try to put category name, it's just going to be very jumbled up. We don't need that. The last option there is called data table. Now this is a very interesting option because if I choose to put a check mark here, it puts the table and attaches it to it. So, and this is a question that is asked a lot. So I'm just going to remove it now and I'll show it to you again in the next step. So step three is done. Next step, again the location. So I can just use the first option which says as a new sheet and I can change the name to column chart. Click finish. And here I have my column chart. And the same options which are available in the pie chart are available here. I can go to chart, select ch chart type and I can change it to something else. I can even use the right click on the white part of the chart. I think it's better here. I can even go to chart options and I can choose to add the show data table and it just puts the table on the bottom. Chart, chart type, I can bring it back to this one. Now the same idea applies here in changing colors. I can click on this color here and you see the dots on all the colors and right click on it format data series and I can change the color to whatever I want go to fill effects whatever you feel like now if I click on the yellow part and if I hit the delete key on the keyboard that month or that person is gone in this case the person's information has been deleted now if I want to bring it back at this point I could always do undo however if you had to do it tomorrow or day after tomorrow after some time you cannot do undo so you just do the same thing what we did in pie chart chart source data it brings me back to this sheet too and you see the word marry I think is not selected so I just start from the top again and I just select all the names and I click OK and the person's name is added back into the chart. And you can do the same thing with colors up here. You can right click here, format chart area, choose the colors as you feel like it. So that's it for charts. And this is just the basic idea behind charts. You can learn more about it if you wanted to, but this will be more than enough for you to get things done if you wanted to pass an exam or something like that in terms of charts. Just remember the options which are associated in it is chart and all the options here, chart options, chart type and source data. These are the very common ones. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.